Hello everybody and welcome back to another new and noteworthy mod review. Today we're going to take a look at the Toolbox mod. But before that, this video is brought to you by Farm Inc. Thank you for being a farm baron. A few weeks ago we covered another placeable workshop trigger. The only thing was, that one was fixed. Toolbox mod is completely and utterly portable. Now, it may confuse folks as to where to find the Toolbox mod in order to purchase it, because it is portable. You may think you need to go into the shop. That is not where you need to go. You need to go into the build menu, and then under tools, there is the Toolbox for $750. And the $750 Toolbox is going to allow you to air everything and anything on your farm as form of machinery. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to be very conscientious as to where we place this because wherever we put this, this is where the toolbox will appear on the start of every save for this particular save game. So I'm going to go ahead and put it here inside the building. Now, one feature I want to entertain is to toggle the free mode on is in the F1 menu. If you turn on V... Now we can place it way back here in the back of the building if we want, and then it is kind of out of the way. Place mode off, you may find that it is not able to be placed where you want to place it because it says that overlaps object. Turn free place mode on. We're going to place it back here in the corner, out of the way. And now, every time we start our save game, going to be able to locate our toolbox right here and using the toolbox could not be any simpler we're going to walk up to it and we're going to pick it up and we're not going to toss it because we hit the wrong button we're going to be able to rotate this around like we can with anything else by holding down the center mouse button and moving our mouse around And the way we're going to use this is we are going to walk our toolbox up whatever we want to customize or repair. And we want to position the toolbox such that the latches are facing whatever we want to repair. We're going to want to turn around. And now that we have the toolbox facing what we want to repair, walk up to it, hit R, and we get the workshop menu come in here to customize and we can for example change the tires buy tires and we can go here and quick change license plate type so that we have definitely changed it back in here we can look at our header there are no changes to header that we can do and if we look at our tires now we have the y tires and if we look at our license plate we now have a changed license plate so using the toolbox mod could not be any simpler the fact that it is completely and utterly portable is that we can also put it in the back of our pickup truck or in the back of a side-by-side -side, but there is a little bit of a catch and that is for whatever reason the toolbox mod does not pay attention to straps so even if it's in the truck and it is strapped down it is technically not strapped down. And that's why knowing where you placed it is oh so important. Because imagine if we, well, imagine if we, oops, lost it somewhere. And we have no idea now where it might be on our map. Well, the good thing is that when we exit the game and load up our save game, it is going to be right here, exactly where we placed it in with. Let me know, guys, what you think of the Toolbox mod. It is it now a staple in your mod folder for every gameplay that you are going to do. And you know what? Don't forget to go on over to the downloadable content menu in the game and rate this mod. And in fact, rate all the mods that you have downloaded from the in-game mod hub. That way the mod authors can know... What mods do you like? What mods do you not like? And until next time, happy farming.